He is known for being a Russian philosopher, theologian, and Christian existentialist. He is recognized for emphasizing the existential spiritual significance of human freedom and the human person. His name is Nikolai Alexandrovich Berdyaev. Nikolai Alexandrovich Berdyaev, a prominent Russian philosopher, theologian, and Christian existentialist, dedicated his life to exploring the profound significance of human freedom and the existential nature of the human person. Born in Russia, Berdyaev's philosophical ideas would leave an indelible mark on the world of philosophical thought. From an early age, Berdyaev exhibited a deep curiosity and thirst for knowledge. His intellectual journey began with the exploration of various schools of thought and theological ideas. However, it was his emphasis on human freedom that set him apart from his contemporaries. Berdyaev believed that true spiritual awakening could only be attained through the recognition and exploration of one's freedom. He argued that the essence of human existence lay in the ability to make autonomous choices, free from external constraints. Throughout his life, Berdyaev engaged in prolific writing, delivering powerful insights on the intersection of philosophy, theology, and existentialism. His works resonated with many, as they challenged the traditional notions of determinism and affirmed the inherent value of individual freedom. Berdyaev's ideas also influenced other notable intellectuals, such as Russian paleontologist Alexander V, Kramov and Christian apologist Yevgeny Nikolaevich Trubetskoy, who recognized the significance of his concept of an atemporal human fall. Nikolai Alexandrovich Berdyaev's philosophical legacy continues to inspire and provoke critical thought in individuals around the world. His profound exploration of human freedom and existential spirituality has left an enduring impact on the realm of philosophy, shaping the way we perceive and understand our place in the universe. Nikolai Berdyaev, a prominent philosopher and theologian, led a life filled with intellectual pursuits and personal struggles. Born into an aristocratic military family in 1874, Berdyaev's upbringing and diverse heritage shaped his perspective on the world. As a young man, he pursued an intellectual career, entering Kiev University in 1894. However, his involvement in student demonstrations and illegal activities led to his expulsion and subsequent exile to Vologda. Despite these setbacks, Berdyaev's passion for knowledge and spirituality remained unwavering. In 1913, he wrote a fiery article criticizing the Russian Orthodox Church's treatment of Imyaslavy Russian monks. The article, titled, Quenchers of the Spirit, resulted in blasphemy charges and the threat of exile to Siberia. However, the outbreak of World War I and the Bolshevik Revolution prevented the case from going to trial. Berdyaev's disaffection with the government reached its peak in 1919 when he founded his own private academy, the Free Academy of Spiritual Culture. This academy served as a platform for Berdyaev to lecture on contemporary issues from a Christian perspective. Due to intense anti-religious activity in Soviet Russia, the academy hosted weekly meetings at Berdyaev's home, providing a safe space for open discussion. In 1920, Berdyaev became a professor of philosophy at the University of Moscow. However, his involvement in a conspiracy against the government led to his arrest and imprisonment. During his interrogation, he fearlessly voiced his criticisms of Bolshevism, leaving a lasting impression on his interrogator, Felix Zerzinsky, the feared head of the Tchaikov. Expelled from Russia, Berdyaev and other emigres sought refuge in Berlin. There, he founded an academy of philosophy and religion, but economic and political conditions in the Weimar Republic forced him and his wife to relocate to Paris in 1923. Undeterred by these challenges, Berdyaev continued to teach, lecture, and write, fostering an exchange of ideas with the French and European intellectual community. Nikolai Berdyaev's journey encompassed not only intellectual pursuits but also personal hardships. His unwavering commitment to spiritual and philosophical exploration, even in the face of adversity, serves as an inspiration to us all. Today, his teachings and insights continue to resonate, urging us to question societal norms, embrace diverse perspectives, and seek deeper meaning in our lives. Nikolai Berdyaev, a rebellious and independent spirit, was known for his controversial and bombastic works. He believed that man unites two worlds, the world of the divine and the natural world. According to Berdyaev, these two natures must unite through freedom and creativity in order to overcome the dualism of existence. Berdyaev's philosophy can be described as Christian existentialism and personalism. He saw freedom, creativity, personhood, and communion as the pillars of his philosophical thought. For Berdyaev, freedom was essential for individuals to fully express themselves and connect with the divine. Creativity, on the other hand, was seen as the means through which the two worlds could unite. One of the central themes in Berdyaev's work was the philosophy of love. He believed that erotic energy was an eternal source of creativity and that it was linked to beauty. According to him, Eros, the search for the beautiful, played a crucial role in human existence. Berdyaev explored this theory of love in various publications, giving gender issues a notable place in his book, The Meaning of the Creative Act. 
In addition to his philosophical pursuits, Berdyaev also delved into Russian history and the Russian national character. He wrote about Russian nationalism, offering his insights into the unique qualities and identity of the Russian people. Through his philosophical work, Nikolai Berdyaev encouraged individuals to embrace their freedom and creativity in order to bridge the gap between the divine and the natural world. His ideas on love and the importance of beauty resonate with the human experience, reminding us of the profound connection between our inner selves and the world around us. Nikolai Berdyaev, a renowned philosopher and theologian, had a complex relationship with the Russian Orthodox Church. While he considered himself closer to Orthodoxy than Catholicism or Protestantism, he did not identify as a typical Orthodox believer. In his own words, he said, Orthodoxy was near to me than either Catholicism or Protestantism. I never severed my link with the Orthodox Church, although confessional self-satisfaction and exclusiveness are alien to me. Berdyaev's views were often seen as independent and even somewhat liberal. He criticized the Russian Orthodox Church and described his perspective as anticlerical. However, he acknowledged the significance of orthodoxy as the religious tradition closest to early Christianity. Despite his criticisms, he maintained a connection to the Orthodox Church, rejecting exclusivity and embracing a broader understanding of faith. While some scholars have questioned the orthodox nature of Berdyaev's philosophy, he is still considered one of the important Russian Orthodox thinkers of the 20th century. He played a role in bringing renewed attention to the orthodox doctrine of apocatastasis, the belief in universal salvation. Alongside other theologians like Sergei Bulgakov, Berdyaev emphasized the possibility of all souls finding redemption, a doctrine that had been neglected for centuries. In the aftermath of the Russian Revolution and Civil War, the Russian Orthodox emigre diaspora splintered into different church jurisdictions. Berdyaev chose to remain under the Omophorian of the Moscow Patriarchate, aligning himself with the parishes that stayed with the Moscow Patriarchate. He was mentioned by name in the history of the korsan kursanist diocese as one of the notable figures who supported the Moscow Patriarchate West European Eparchy. Today, the house in Klamart where Berdyaev lived has been transformed into a small museum dedicated to his life and work. Attached to it is a chapel named after the Holy Spirit, under the authority of the Moscow Patriarchate. On the 70th anniversary of Berdyaev's death, a Panikita memorial prayer was held at the diocesan cathedral to honor his memory. The diocesan Bishop Nestor also presided over a prayer at Berdyaev's grave. While Berdyaev's relationship with the Russian Orthodox Church was complex, his philosophical insights and his emphasis on a broader understanding of faith continue to inspire and challenge us in our daily lives. His willingness to question and critique established religious institutions encourages us to seek a deeper and more inclusive understanding of divinity and morality. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.